One day, I was out in the woods having a real hoss time of it playing engine out by the Mississippi. And all of a sudden, just as I was shooting my arrow, I stumble across the darndest thing. Some kind of machine. I go upon it to take a closer look. And as I pick it up, all of a sudden the world kind of blinks. And I find myself in the future. Well, the first thing I do when I get to the future is I take a car ride. Why? It was the meanest time I ever had. I might even say it beats working as a steamboat captain. The folks round here say Wendy's is the best deal in town. Now, I've never had future food, but I decide I'll give her a churn, and I walk right on in. The innkeeper hands me a cup of something, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Upon further examination, however, the stuff proves to be delicious, and I find I just can't get enough of it. Alright, Huck, let's talk about school. You say you're just finishing the fourth grade, right? Yeah, well. Well, that means you still have the fifth grade left of school, and the sixth grade, and of course, the seventh grade, and the eighth grade, and the ninth grade, and the tenth grade, and the eleventh grade, and the twelfth grade, of course. And about then, you'll be about eighteen. Eighteen? By then I'll be halfway dead! Oh yeah, well there's still four years left in college, if you want to be anything in this world. Feel what I felt that day, as I knew we would all reach our hands up and be brought up from above to down. And I wanted you to be fine. Next they show me a picture. And it did the darndest thing I ever did see. It kept on changing like it couldn't make up its mind on what it wanted to be. I discovered that I could control it with the touch of my hands. I had the slightest what it was, so I pick it up and give it a look over. <laughs> come on, hold still, fuck. Ah, come on. Oh, 